Hello, I'm Matt Beistrack, Superintendent of Schools for the West Seneca School District. It's Friday, March 19th at about 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, just giving my weekly update. Uh, so first things first, very excited to be welcoming back our kindergarten and first grade students in our hybrid program uh, to four days a week for in-person learning next week. Very excited about that. Uh, I want to thank uh, our elementary principals and our elementary teachers that have worked very hard along with uh, some of our central office staff to make this possible. Uh, again, uh, you know, I say this, I've said this the past couple of videos. Uh, we're going to, you know, grab as many uh, uh, in person opportunities as we can. I really do see this as a game of inches. So, any additional time that we can provide in for in person learning for our students, we're going to take advantage of that. So, very excited about our kindergartners and our first graders coming back more often. Uh, also, the West Senior is going to be switching to two cohorts. That's fantastic. And the high schools are going to be maintaining uh, coming to school on Wednesdays at a ro rotating schedule. So, uh, we do have our cohort calendars, uh, days of attendance on the website. Websites uh, on our district website if you have any questions about when your child is supposed to be attending school in person. So, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, I did mention it a little bit uh, in a prior video, but uh, there's been quite a bit of speculation uh, about the CDC uh, changing their recommenda recommendations in terms of the amount of distancing required between individuals in schools. Um, you know, and I'd heard something quite recently saying that uh, they may be making some announcements and adjustments to that. And they've kind of been throwing around this idea of a potential move to three feet of social distance as opposed to six. Um, so just to, I guess, if, if you don't know the process for this, how that would work is the CDC can make a recommendation. Uh, we answer to the New York State uh, Education Department. So they would have to make that uh, change. And I, I imagine it would be in conjunction with the New York State Health Department. So the CDC can make a recommendation, but we have to hear from the New York State Education Department before we do anything. That would obviously, you know, if they felt it was safe enough, that would obviously be a great, great thing for us, for all school districts in the area. Uh, to be able to do that. It would, it would give us a much greater ability to have kids in person more often. I don't know that it would necessarily mean that we can have everybody in at the same time. Uh, there, there still may be certain areas of the districts or grade levels or whatnot that that still may be a struggle. Uh, we have been working very hard to assess our capacity and what that might look like. Some of the things that we do need to take into consideration though is there's still quite a bit of hypothetical planning going on because they've talked about the need to potentially add additional barriers which take up space or you know what a lunches look like. Things like that so um, we are again we're working very diligently to plan and uh, you know frankly I'm hoping uh, that if they do make an announcement uh, that you know at least they'll have enough specificity um, that you know we can t you know, take some action so uh, and then we would have to obviously you know take some time just to move desks around if we had to order additional supplies uh, if there was some new requirement we would do whatever we had to do uh, again we are going to maximize the amount of time that we can have our students in person so we would welcome any changes if you know the centers for disease control feel it's safe feel it's appropriate and our education department gives us the go-ahead uh, we're going to jump all over that we'll be very excited to be able to welcome kids back more frequently so uh, i just wanted to let everyone know this is something that we are making plans for and uh, we would look forward to you know again if it's safe enough to have our kids in person more frequently so anyway uh, I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I look forward to sending out another message next week. Have a great day.